What's going on YouTube? All right, me and my 10 year old son are sitting out in the garage tonight and uh, just thinking about real life, real survival skills. And uh, you know, we watch on YouTube all the time these these guys that spend hundreds and thousands of dollars on, on uh, bushcrafting stuff. You know, so they can go out and play Rambo out in the woods and all this other stuff. Well, tonight, my 10 year old son is gonna carve a spoon with more knives. That's all you need. And he's gonna do a good, it's gonna be functional. It may not be pretty, but it will be functional, functional and usable. So, you know, bushcrafting and survival is not, it's not rocket science. It's just a little bit of knowledge that you gotta have to, uh, you know, make your life right. If you're in a bad situation or anything like that, it's just skills, it's knowledge. And you're gonna watch my 10 year old son do it tonight. All right, so we're gonna cut away from this and we're gonna catch up on the action there with Brendan. Go. Hi, I'm the 10 year old son and I'm here with my hook knife. It's a Mora brand. And I am making a spoon. As you can see, I've already started a bit. And I'm carving out the bowl right now. So I'll just start doing that. Is that really difficult? It's pretty easy going, ain't it? It's, huh? it's kind of hard to use this. Yeah. It's not like a regular knife. It's kind of yeah. hard to use. Well, it just takes practice, right? Mm -hmm. That's what you're doing, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Just practicing. I've already made a couple spoons. Yep. All right, well, we're going to let Brennan get a little further along with his spoon, and uh, we'll catch up with y'all in a little bit. All right? Go. Welcome back, and I am done with my bowl. I haven't finished, like, sandpapering it down and stuff, but now I'm fixing to start trying to round the stuff off. The... He's just going to start shape. removing material and getting his hand oil and his bowl shape and all that stuff. So, all right, Brennan, let's see how you're going to do it. There's his little knife collection. Hold on, my little light went out, so hold on, give me just a second. Okay, we're back. My light's back on. All right, Brennan, which, kn which knife are you using there? Let's I see it. I'm using my red-handled knife. I think that's the Mora 511. That's a good little knife for, for little bitty hands. So, all right, Ben, let's see what you're going to do. What's that move you're doing right there? What's that called? The chest lever. It's used for getting a bunch of material off at a time. Now, pay attention to what he's doing. He's a 10-year-old boy. He's Watch his left arm. He's pulling with it. And his knife is staying tied up against his chest, so he is completely safe. Good job, son. Good job, son. Thanks. You're learning good. Well, that thing sends them flying, don't it? <laughs> Makes them go all the way. It's flying away. across the room. All right, well, we're going to let Brennan get rid of a lot of this material. Let's see what you're working with there. Hold it up. I've gotten a bunch of that. 
Yeah. Carved off. So it's just carving right now. All right, we're going to let him catch up. Or let him get a lot of it off. All right, we'll, we'll see y'all in a minute. Three, two, go. Welcome back, and I am fixing to baton this. So I don't have to spend a ton of time carving all that out. It's going to help me shape out my handle, too. So I am going to baton that. And turn it sideways, remember? Hmm? Turn it sideways, remember? Where you can hit the edge. There you go. Get it where you need it. Oops. All right, let's see how that wound up. Got a baton too much off. That's all right. You can fix that, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now do your other side. Okay. Remember, get it to just where you need it to be. Okay. On the side of your bowl. Scoot, scoot, scoot your knife blade. Hold on, scoot, hold on. Scoot your knife handle closer to the board, remember? You want to, there you go. That way you got plenty of tip to work with. see what you get left with all right now he's got a centerpiece all right now all he's got to do all right explain what you're going to do with the handle now with the handle i'm just going to carve it out like that thin it all down until it's all rounded off at that part yeah the end of the handle and i'm going to this is actually really um short time to do this. Okay. Because I batoned it so close. Right. Okay, well, we're going to break away. Let Brendan get what he's going to do done. Go. Welcome back, and I am using a new, a different knife. It is a bigger handle than the knife blade itself. That's and the Mora 121. That's what it is. That's good, little bitty short detailed blade. Good for little bitty hands. I like it. And I got big monkey hands. So, it's a good little knife. So, let's see your progress so far. Looking good. Alright, we're going to let him carry on. So, as you were. Not too much. Yeah. Are you? Yes. Taping? Oh. I didn't know you were taping. This is the knife I cut my pinky with. Yep. Badly. That's alright. It's a just sharp little dude. Yeah. I barely nicked myself and then it just split my pinky open. Yep. Welcome back. I have, of my progress, I've gotten a bunch of that bad stuff off the uh, excess. The how? What is that word called? Excess. Excess. And I am making sure the handle is rounded off. Well, round, not rounded off. I'm using the same knife as before. All right, we're going to let him.
can carry on. Keep going, son. You're doing good. Oh. All right, Brennan. Brennan was just carving towards himself with a knife. And uh, you can carve towards yourself, which is just fine. Hold on. Let me turn that light back on. Like I was saying, you can carve towards yourself, but you got to do it properly. Show us how to do it, Brennan. First, um, you just grab the thing. I don't recommend doing this as much as carving the handle, but I was carving the handle like this, and I got stuck on a little knot, and whenever you get stuck, you need to turn it around and finish the carving thing like that. Why? Because your belly is really tender, and it could cut your belly easy. Right. Easily. Right. It's common sense, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. All right. Keep on going. Go. Welcome back, and I am trying to fix this. Let's see. I batoned a little bit too much there, and I am going to fix that by carving a little bit more of the bowl. Hold on. Let me get the light again. Go again. Okay. It's, it's kind of little for doing that. Carving some of the sides. Okay. With it. So, do you want me to do that? Well, just do the best you can. Learn how to fix it. Learn how to make it do what you want. <laughs> Problem solving skills, people. <laughs> This is exactly what his generation doesn't know how to do. Solve problems on their own. He's learning. Oops. You get it? Kind of. Let's see. But whenever I was doing it, I cut off some of that. That's okay. That can be fixed. It's going to be hard. Yeah. You can do it. All right, we're gonna let Brennan get his little problem worked out here. Okay? Go. Welcome back, I am done with my spoon. Look at that, it's kind of shaped. And I have the handle all rounded off and everything. And now I have the bowl kind of Shaped out, it's not pretty, but it will work. You could eat with it, right? Yeah. You can hold some stuff. And, um, that's pretty much it. Awesome oh. job. Hmm? I said awesome job. It's not my best spoon, but it's pretty good. It doesn't matter, it's functional, right? Yeah. That's all that matters. Right? Mm hmm Cool deal. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Go. Pretty cool, huh? I did that all to, to prove a point. You don't have to be 40, 50, 60 years old with, you know, a cabinet full of $500 custom knives and all that crap. My 10-year-old son had a fully functional tool with more knives and a little bit of time. Uh, it's just astounding. I guess the point of this whole thing is get your kids out, man. Teach them the, even if it's just a little bit of stuff that you know, teach your kids. They need to learn how to do this stuff too. These, these little bits of cool things and useful things need to be passed down guys and we're the, we're the only ones to pass it down let me fix this light okay so get your little dudes out teach them how to work with knives safely don't let them go cutting themselves up and everything else all right we will see you guys on the next one out